Ladies and gentlemen. Arc Knight CN server just added an archive. For the four exclusive integrated strategies operators. And we finally get to know more about these Rhodes Island Elite Operator. In my last Rhodes Island Elite Operator video. We only talk a little bit about them. And now, let's see more of these Elite Operator lore in Arc Knights. Keep in mind I will tell you my translated version of their profile. There's not yet any official's translation. But I'm sure this video can give you more idea of each operator's story. Starting with the one who haven't appeared in any story or side story. Elite Caster Operator Pith. Pith is a Victorian from a military background. She is a Liberi from Victoria, and her ancestors were Gaulic officers for generations. Pith was able to enter the military academy despite her Gaulic background, thanks to the support of her family. And under the influence of her family, she was once a staunch Gaul restorationist. In the military, it is said that she once fought side by side with Sarkaz mercenary. And sympathized them for losing their homeland. Just like how Gaul was destroyed and now becomes today's Victoria. And one day, she unexpectedly contracted Oripathy in a mission. And was eventually expelled from Victoria's military. It wasn't until she became an infected that she really understood. The reason for Sarkaz exclusion from everyone. Most of them are not only homeless wandering people, but also an infected. Just because she contracted oripathy, she lost all the social status she had gained. And her family had cutting ties with her. All this time she felt pessimistic and resentful. And after fighting for more than 10 years. Under the recommendation from her former Sarkaz companion, she joined Babel. Her Majesty Teresa treated her like relatives and friends. Allowing her to have a new family, and a group of brothers and sisters. With more or less same fate and goals. During this time her prejudice about race and ethnicity is gradually disappeared. She also believes or apathy problem can only be solved if all terror is united. Therefore, even after Babel falls, she did not leave. And becoming one of its first successor member, Rhodes Island Pharmaceutical. Struggling to realize its somewhat unrealistic ideals. In Rhodes Island, Pith becomes a caster operator. And is admired for good at guiding, analyzing, and controlling Originium technique. She is mainly responsible for field mission, along with a team that she commands. And Pith also shoulders the important task of searching, and cultivating new generation of Rhode Island member. And was proven to be a very excellent mentor. The interesting thing about Pith and her Originium arts, is that she never used a specific Originium arts technique. Through talent and learning, she has mastered almost all caster operators Originium arts casting form, and can freely combine what Originium arts to use, by prejudging the battlefield. Also she will guide other operators Originium arts, to make them more lethal. Being an excellent caster, her voice is also important when Rhodes Island was deciding whether Osmontis should stay in the landship or not. Along with Logos, she was against Osmontis staying in the landship. But eventually recognized the kid as a unique caster and an elite operator. Next up is Tomai. An elite sniper operator of Rhodes Island. <laughs> Operator Stormai came from an ordinary family in Kazdel, who possessed a unique perception like Originium Arts. When the civil war broke out, he was unable to understand the differences between the warring parties, and felt disappointed by the futile war that is happening in his country. So he left Kazdel before the civil war expanded into a full scale, and wandering around the world of terror. He lived in hiding and did not show a strong interest in Sarkaz related affairs. And when he left Kazdel, he had contracted oropathy. But he didn't think much about his own condition at the time. Despite that, he defended the rights of the infected people by using force. And gradually led a small organization with considerable combat capabilities. 
before the end of the Civil War, Babel had noticed Stormy activity. Due to their concern for any Sarkaz forces scattered all over Terra. And shortly after the establishment of Rhodes Island, some operators confronted the armed team led by Stormi, when they are intervening in a district conflict related to the infected. The operators managed to talk this out, and eventually Stormi joined Rhodes Island. After working for a long time, and both he and Rhodes Island trusting each other, Stormi became an elite sniper operator of Rhodes Island. He is proficient at combat and perception like Originium Arts, and is mainly responsible for aid operations, and emergency support, independently leading a team to carry out various field combat missions, and is willing to go to the most difficult and dangerous battlefields. Many Sarkaz people are impressed of his Originium Arts, and much of his outstanding combat prowess comes from his obsession with combat as well as his dedicated study of various combat techniques. His perception originium arts have also become an excellent aid to his combat style using a long-range weapon. Among other elite operators, he spoke less about Rhodes Island's overall plan, though he appeared more often at the meetings related to Rhodes Island operation. Although he doesn't like to talk about his ideals and beliefs, but for him, Rhodes Island felt like the best answer he was looking for. A companion who truly believes that the infected should survive just like everyone else. In the game event story, Stormi first appeared in R6 collaboration event, where he led a support team to help Ranger and his team. He also once unintentionally brought Manticore to Rhodes Island, where the wounded girl was hiding in his transport vehicle. And because of her injury, Stormi decided to take her to the landship. Moving on to Sharp, an elite guard operator in Rhodes Island. Sharp is from Colombia which both of his parents were mercenaries. He received combat training since he was a child. And followed his parents to Sargon as a mercenaries. In his mercenary time. He worked under several different Padissa of Sargon, and learned the swordsmanship of Sargon Royal Court. He also contracted Oripathy in his mercenary days. However, after many years he finally left Sargon, and joined Rhodes Island in its early days. Sharp is humble when talking about his past work, saying that his work as a mercenary is nothing extraordinary. But his 20 years of combat experience won't lie. He has experienced hundreds of battles, large and small, different kind of warrior. And has a one-man army combat capability. That few people in the entire Rhodes Island can match with. At the beginning before becoming an elite operator, Sharp was skeptical with Rhodes Island goals, and avoiding contact with other operators. But still do his mission perfectly without hesitation, and wouldn't do any unnecessary things. After some time, he and Rhodes Island begin to trust each other more. And he gradually showed his true fighting ability in some missions. Later, Kelsey invited him to become an elite operator. Sharp said, he realized that Rhodes Island is a company where work can be truly rewarded. And accepted the offer. The so-called reward for him is not just big salary. But a certain belief, which he had been hoped for a long time and Rhodes Island proved to him with his actions that no matter how difficult it is to achieve the goal we are moving forward step by step then after officially becoming an elite operator he is mainly responsible for the training of other guard operator and high risk missions he also no longer suppresses his character he will solemnly ask medical operators for some medical knowledge saying some cold jokes in the middle of the mission and bonding with other elite operators typically Stormi, who he sometimes accompany in the training room until dark and to this day sharp still uses the word job to describe his mission which something that has become a joke in a conversation about him in break the ice event story he single-handedly beat many of silver ash's men and even duel with a three-time winner of Kazim Yesh Major, the Black Knight. There's no exact winner, but after that fight, 
Sharp injured his arm, and must take a pay leave to recover his injury. Last one on the list is Touch. An elite medic operator from Rhodes Island. She is a Lithanian from a family of traditional caster, who was born with a rare originium arts that restores matter to its original state. With this talent, Touch became a botanist when she was young. However, as her research progressed, she encountered a bottleneck. And under the pressure of her school's requirements, she took the risk and added an excessive amount of originium liquid to her research and accidentally infected herself. And since then she lost her qualification to enter the institute or the tower. At a low point in her life, she came into contact with Columbia's life science medical studies, and some of which proved to be perfect with her. So she traveled to Columbia to study modern medical theory from scratch, and focus on oropathy disease research, under the assistance of the Maylander Company. During this time, she met Kelsey. And years later, Kelsey personally invited Touch to join Babel. But she declined the invitation. Saying she doesn't want to be involved in any political strife. But after Babel Fall and Rhodes Island is established, Kelsey invited Touch to join again. And because of Rhodes Island's philosophy, she accepted the offer, and officially became a Rhodes Island medical operator. In Rhodes Island early days, she helped Kelsey build the medical department, and is the backbone of Rhodes Island's medical operators. A botany and medical expert, who is proficient in an extremely rare originium arts. She is mainly responsible for a mission regarding oropathy in medical investigation, and when performing missions. She also collects special oropathy cases for Rhodes Island to research. With all that said, it's still not really clear how she can have 20 years of combat experience. The only time we see her engaged in a combat, is in Near Light Event Story Epilogue, where she and Gravel were fighting against Armalus Union. Though Gravel is pretty much the one who do the fighting. While Touch heals Gravel to keep her in a prime condition. And using her crazy diamond arts to restore matter to its original state. Turning enemy arrows into a branch to slow them down from afar. She is also the one who speculated about Rosmontis' memory condition. And voted yes for her to stay in Rhodes Island landship. To stabilize the kid condition. And in hope she can become an extraordinary caster. Touch is someone who doesn't usually meddle in an off missions affairs. But if a Rhodes Island member's life is in danger, especially a medic, she wouldn't hesitate to intervene. And judging from one of the IS mode relic, she's a probably a shy person, and have a hard time to opens up to the doctor. Well, that concluded the profile and story of the 4 Rhodes Island Elite Operator. I hope to see more of them in the future. That should be all. Adios.